I'm here with one of the stars of Fantasmas, Julia Fox. Julia, uh, how does it feel to be in New York here at Newfest? It feels amazing. I kind of thought this was like a low-key thing, so... <laughs> but it's okay. We love a step in her feet. We love a mic in our face. So, um, yeah, I just can't wait to get inside. It is hot out here, and I just love Julio, and I'm here to support him and his vision. So tell me about your character. Well, I play the one-of-a-kind, iconic Mrs. Claus. And um, she's funny. Yeah, she's a really funny Mrs. Claus, but actually very accurate to what Mrs. Claus would be like in today's America. You look like the Hollywood version of Mrs. Claus. Yes, it's definitely the Hollywood version of Mrs. Claus, for sure. What can you tell us about the, the project in Fantasmas? Well, I think it's really just a celebration of Julio's uniqueness. I feel like each episode has its own little story and they're all just rooted in the creative genius that is Julio. I think he is singular. He's one of a kind. He is a voice for our generation and I'm just so honored to even be here. Do you, you have anything that you want to tell us about in terms of upcoming projects, things we can look for you in? I have plenty of movies on the way. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to say anything. You drop us a hint. I think one I can talk about, him. Um, and it is a monkey paw production, so it's going to be crazy, and that'll be out next year. Is there any place uh, people should look for you on social or anything like that? At Julia Fox, you already know. I'm here with Julio Torres, the creator of Fantasmas. Julio, you are here in Chelsea opening up Pride Month with your show. How does that feel? It, feel, it feels great. It feels very familiar. I, um, I was here a year ago with um, our movie Pro La Mista, um, and I had a fantastic experience, and I, I'm very happy that you'll have us back. For those who haven't seen it, don't know about it, tell us about the show. It is a bit of a sketch show meets Disney's Fantasia, meets Mystery Science Theater. It's an interesting potpourri of uh, ideas and friends. It's, um, you know what, you know what? It's sort of like a Saturday morning cartoon, I think, uh, for adults. Uh, uh, it's like a world unto itself and you just have to surrender to it with no expectation and enjoy it. This is your brainchild, right? So what was the inspiration? You know, I, I wrote at Saturday Night Live for a couple of years and I missed uh, short form writing, I missed sketch writing, and I, I got the privilege to do a lot of interesting work there and I wanted to do something like that again. That was sort of the impetus of it. What's the impact that you want the show to have? I mean, audiences will take away from it whatever they want to take away from it, but I, I would encourage them to wander into it knowing nothing with no expectation and see what they find out. I'm here with Tomas Matos, one of the stars of Fantasmas. Tomas, how does it feel to be here? It feels really amazing. I'm very excited to see um, this beautiful TV show that we worked on. Everyone that I have talked to that has seen it has said really great things. Um, and so I'm just here to see if what they're saying is true. You're all decked out here tonight. Uh, Did is, you think? Is this, is this you or is this the character? <laughs> This is me. I think I was really grateful because Chloe and also Huli allowed me to bring a lot of myself into this character. I like to think that I, I'm, I do that in a lot of the work that I do. I kind of make it apparent um, because I think that's just what makes art art is being able to find ourselves in the roles that we're playing. And yeah, I think Chester and Tomas are definitely a bit synonymous. So, describe Chester for us. What, what is the character? Okay, Chester is a driver, an entrepreneur, an icon. Um, and somebody who, who beats to their own drum. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I didn't see you. Because, like, I, like, I want you serving behind me all the time. <laughs> what do you want the reaction to be from audiences? What, do you, what kind of impact do you want the show to have? I want them to laugh. Period. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> so you're starring in this show. Can we look for you in anything coming up uh, in uh, recent months? Yes, I am a part of um, another another film called Space Cadet that Emma Roberts is starring in. I do a little cameo, so don't blink too hard, otherwise you might miss me. But I do believe that I have a little spot in that, um, as well as Fantasma. All right, muchas gracias, Tomas. 
Sí, tú sabes. Hasta luego. This is the BTRP Media Network.